I have never canned a beer. I have never used the Blickman beer gun. When I got the G4 fermenter, it's a unitank, I thought, hey, let's up the ante a little bit and try to can directly from the fermenter. Will it work? Full disclosure on this, October did send me the SL1 canner and some cans. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review once I spend some more time with it. Blickman did send me the beer gun probably more than a year ago. So hopefully they're not watching. Maybe they probably won't send me anything ever again. But just to kind of set this up for you, this the beer that was in the fermenter is the wedding stout that I did for a wedding party that's coming up here. I chilled it down to 40 degrees, put 10 PSI on the carbonation stone in there. So let it sit for about a week at 10 PSI, 40 degrees. And that was like the perfect carbonation level for the beer. Then, like I said, I, I really have not ever used the SL1. And other than maybe one time I did a, a can of water that they kind of recommend you do when you first get it. I actually hooked up a MFL or a male flare fitting to the aseptic valve on the fermenter, hooked the beer gun up to my CO2 tank at 10 PSI, and then just proceeded to start trying to can. And you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, it, it was definitely a learning curve, but one of the things that made the process easier, in my opinion, is the aseptic valve on the G4 has a linear flow valve. And what that is, basically it, it, it allows liquid to flow kind of undisturbed. And so the first couple of cans, I'll tell you that I had a lot of foam. I probably wasted about three or four cans trying to get it right. And one thing I noticed as I was doing it that there wasn't really enough flow and it seemed like it was kind of foaming a little bit. But what I did was as I opened the valve a little bit more each time because I was trying to figure out exactly the good flow rate with low foam and all that stuff, I finally got it. I was able to get it dialed in and purge the can, fill it up in a relatively quick amount of time really with no foam, spray on top, put the lid on and do the canning operation. And I'll tell you, it not having done canning before, just following a few of the simple videos online, I was able to successfully can four beers, which I want to give to the bride and groom to kind of take home after the, the reception, and with no problem. The only thing I did have was one of them. I didn't quite do the action that comes back correctly or not enough, and I noticed that there was a little bit of a leak on it, but what I did was I, I compared it to the other cans to try to see what was wrong, and I noticed that that second crimp wasn't quite flat. So threw it back in the SL1, did a little bit more of a crimp on it, and it didn't leak anymore. So I, I have to say, I'm very impressed with the SL1. And I'm also impressed with the ability to be able to can from the G4. So there's definitely gonna be some more content on the SL1. I've got some other things planned. I actually have an experiment going on right now, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I, I will do a more in-depth review on the SL1 once I have some more time with it. But uh, this, really, this thing really is a game changer, I think. It's gonna be really cool to be able to maybe brew a little bit more beer than what will fit in a keg and then can some off and throw them in the fridge and have them for, you know, taste your beer six months, a year later, see how it holds up. So this has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We certainly do appreciate your viewing and liking and subscribing. We'll see you on the next video.